Hi, this is Spencer from The Property Rookie. And now we are talking about part two of the leasing process in Singapore. In this topic, we'll be touching upon tenancy agreement. The previous part one, we talked about a letter of intent. And one important thing to note that during the letter of intent, you provided a one month deposit, which we call it the good faith deposit. Once the owner accepted, now it will become part of the security deposit or even the advanced rental in the tenancy agreement. So let's go straight to the tenancy agreement now. The tenancy agreement will be the legal binding contract which stipulates the terms and conditions of the lease. That is very important. This will reflect the uh, uh, personal particulars, your duration of lease, the rent amount and many other clauses which can't be explained in just a simple video like this. This will need to be explained to you by your agent so do talk to them and he will be able to guide you and explain to you all the clauses inside the TA tenancy agreement. So as a tenant, what do you do when you receive the tenancy agreement? Obviously, you go through it or if you have an agent who can explain to you all the terms and conditions, that will be crucial. So you'll see things like um, what is the rent amount and any other requests you may have indicated in the letter of intent. That is most important. And to make the, legal, the contract binding, you need to couple it with a security deposit. I think I, will, I can't go into details of the tenancy agreement but these are some of the things that you need to provide. The security deposit will be two months for a two years lease. So if it's a one year lease, you only pay a one month security deposit. And this can be from the good faith deposit you have paid. So this tenancy agreement is very important. It's the legal binding contract. So you have to be sure of what you are signing and what the clauses mean to you. So I'll explain the later series in part three to part seven which will kind of like touch upon certain details or clauses that are important in the tenancy agreement for you to take note. So watch out for the later part series to know more other details.